everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in Roger's Super Dollar parking lot. I had a doctor appointment today here in Sanford, and that is why I am out of the house. If not for that appointment, I would not be out of the house. But since I had to come out, I thought I would bring my camera and give you guys a little update. I am back from surgery. I am uh, recovering. I'm not bouncing back as I would like. I feel quite exhausted and it totally, it shows in my face and my eyeballs, but that's okay. Everything is looking good. I just had my follow-up appointment. Blood pressure is good. Blood sugar is good. Everything is good. Um, I have no fever, so we're not worried about any kind of infection and uh, my pulse is good. Everything is good. So we're just going to, you know, take more time to recover from this. I feel like I went into somewhat of a depression when I came out of anesthesia and I did do some reading up and it is common, not that the anesthesia can cause depression, but just the um, going through the actual surgery and having your body shut down when you put on, you know, the breathing machine and, and things like that. So I, I just think that that's what is going on with me, and I'm just going to give it some time to, you know, see if I can get back to normal. I'm pretty sure I can. And anyway, and I just wanted to touch base with you guys, because I know many of you are wondering why I haven't had a video for a long time. Uh, let's see. Only a week tomorrow, I had two videos, I think, on Thursday, the night before my surgery. Two premieres. It was a double feature. Yes, I remember now. So just a little break, but I'm jumping in. I went into Rogers because yesterday Derek went back home to Memphis and uh, he drove him, you know, himself to uh, Manchester. We had to go out of Manchester and I drove home and all that went good. And then I stopped at Hannaford to pick up some things because I forgot that I had to go out today. And I thought while I'm dressed, while I'm out, I will go get some stuff and then I can just collapse the rest of the week and through the weekend. And um, one thing I did is I bought myself a ribeye steak as a special treat and I ate that last night and it was so good. And I don't think I've ever at least in my adult life, I don't know, you know, way, way back, maybe I might have cooked a ribeye but it was certainly delicious, and I thought since I'm out and the hospital is like over there, a little bit over there, and Rogers is right here, I thought I would stop and see what they had for prices for ribeye, and they didn't have any. But they have Delmonico, which looked kind of ribeye-ish, but the butcher wasn't right there. I would have asked him what here is equal to a ribeye, because some places call it different things, but the Delmonico was 12 bucks per pound, so I wouldn't have gotten that. Anyway, the ribeye I got yesterday at Hannaford was seven dollars per pound, and it was worth it. It was good, but you know, I wouldn't want to spend that much per pound on a regular basis, because it would cost me a lot. I also picked up some top round roast or was it steaks? I think it was it was steaks. I don't know. That was only $1.99 per pound and it was very good. So, you know, I don't need expensive meat. I can get by on uh, the sale products. But still, I will have ribeyes every now and then because it was just yummy. All right. Do I have anything else to talk about? I think I do. I haven't been back to sewing or anything like that. I am so glad that I finished that crumb quilt, crazy crumb quilt top when I did, because it would be weighing heavily on my mind that I, you know, didn't have that series done. But I sped it up a little bit, skipped some things that I wanted to do just so I could have that series done, which I got it done, and that's up there. And so I'm very glad, and I am going to jump into another sewing series. I have two more quilt tops that I want to make. I still want to do crochet stuff, but what were the quilt tops that I want to make coming up? Oh, okay, one is um, a scrappy quilt, or a scrap quilt, and that is generally made with uh, squares. It's not so much wonky. And I always have scrappy pre-cuts is what I call them when I have my Fabric Frenzy sales. And I'm going to try to use one of the sets that I made and 
do a quilt top with that to show everyone if you get one of my scrappy quilt block sets, what you can possibly do with it. So that's one thing that I have on the agenda. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but I want very much to do that. Then, uh, and I think the next Fabric Frenzy might be for New Year's Day, if I'm ready. So uh, you have to be a patron to get the lower prices or a YouTube member. And if you don't want to do either of those things, then you can wait till the leftover items are on eBay. The prices are higher on eBay, and uh, but you know, so that's your option: save money and you know, become a patron or a YouTube member and get the lower prices. And uh, I'm just I'm excited about it. I have a couple new things, and I'm hoping that I will have some new panels also. I will have my. Uh, lots of 100 fat quarters the next time around and then I don't know when the next time will be that I'll be able to offer that because I'm cutting back a little bit on um, buying fabric right now until I can sell what I have so I don't know if I'll have enough new prints because the fat quarters it's 100 fat quarters with no duplicates so that's a pretty good thing to be able to get without having to do all the work yourself why is there a hair in my eyes somewhere bothering me okay so the scrappy quilt um using one of my own sets that I cut I'd like to do that, but you could still watch that video. You don't have to have the fabric that I have, and you can you you know do your own thing. And then the other quilt I want to do is by ripping strips, and this would be a top stitched quilt top on a foundation. That's what I have in my head ball. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And uh, other than that, um, just uh, you know, I'm gonna be pretty you know, low key probably the rest of this year only because Christmas is coming and I know it's a good time for me to kind of take a break because a lot of people are busy with Christmas and shopping and all that stuff. So I'm, you know, planning on recording. I also want to get back to my ASMR. I took a, an extended break about a week, I think, that we haven't really had anything there. And Derek, too, is taking a little step back on that. We we went gung-ho to get as much content up as we could. And now we're going to, you know, kind of cut back to maybe one video each per week. And then anything else that we might feel like doing. And um, so, I don't know, things are looking up. I, I hope that, that um, my surgeries are done and that I can just, you know, start new year fresh and, you know, things are looking up. But I, I'm still not feeling it. I'm still, I'm just very, very drained and exhausted. And, you know, I've been worried about all this stuff since June. And um, I just can't believe that I have finally you know, done all the big steps that I need to do for now. There may be more big steps in my future. We don't know yet, but uh, I'm over the first hump. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I'm going to sign off now and go home and rest because I am feeling quite tired and I just want to go and chillax and maybe have a nice cup of hot tea. <sighs> it is kind of cold, but I don't even have a sweatshirt with me because I knew I wouldn't want to be... Uh, it's 36 degrees. No wonder I'm comfortable. That's warm. <laughs> Survivor finale tonight, so I have that to look forward to. Again, I'm just going to like cuddle up on the couch with pillows in my nightie and a soft, warm blanket and watch Survivor and then go to bed early and... Uh, just, uh, you know, tomorrow is my first day that I don't have to go out since the surgery. I had, you know, appointment on Monday with the urologist in Portland, and then I had a, an appointment yesterday. Well, I had to bring Derek to Manchester yesterday, but, you know, he drove himself. I drove back, but that was a very big day. And then I, um, I had today, tomorrow, I get to stay home. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will be back with more soon. Hey, I don't usually give you guys a ride home from Rogers. How about we do that? So during the premiere, we all have time to say bye to each other. All right, let's go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.